lot of them want to get off anyway. You know, get off early on Christmas. Eve. Hi guys, how's it going? Mom's on the phone. She told me to get everything ready. So I'm ready. Ready, ready, ready. Hello. I'm ready, 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 ready. <laughs> Welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. I'm ready. He's ready. Freddy. <laughs> I'm ready. No, I'm just ready. I'm All ready. right. First, we have to apologize because last week we did not get podcast, did we? RJ wanted to break this one in two and put part two, part one. No. One for the lips. Two weeks. We'll catch you up. Part right? one. Now. Part two. Later. There's no part two. We're going to do it. Who's ready for round two? That's the greatest line out of the whole Ice Age movies. It's a little dude <laughs> jumping up and going, Who's ready for round two? Okay. Hey, yes, He's I had saw a little all sugar. Those. Okay. Just a little. It's Christmas. Okay. Oh, la 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 la. Okay. In the chapel. Okay. He hates Christmas, really. He hates Christmas music. Let me put it that way. That's enough, Wilbur. Hey, I do have a Christmas okay. song I like. All of Christmas is a real good tune. Christmas in Blue Chair Bay is a good song. Uh huh. I like those. Okay. In the chapel. Up. You guys have to look those up. Okay. In the chapel. Matthew 1 dot dot 2 1. Matthew 1 21. No, it's Matthew 1 dot dot 2 1. That's it. And, and she shall bring forth a son, comma, and thou shalt. Call his name Jesus. Dot dot. For he shall save his people from their sins. Period. That's I right. read it with all the punctuation in the title. Brava. Okay, so of course it's Christmas and we are celebrating. Um, it is the... Christmas Eve, Eve. And this is going to post oh on Christmas God. Eve because our internet's slow. So, it is Christmas Eve, Eve. For who do you don't house. know, that means it's the 23rd. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve, and everybody knows that's the 24th. Just, just clarify. Again. In our house, they actually count down Christmas Eve. Eve, 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 Like yeah. 23 times. Yeah. RJ used to sit and do it on his fingers, so. <laughs> Always. <laughs> all right. So, um, all right. In the barn stalls, um, we lost a calf. Yep. We don't know why. Um, it just happens sometimes. She had had an injury to her back. That doesn't mean that she didn't have internal injuries. We'd had her a while. I mean, we yeah. thought everything was fine. So, um, she hadn't had her back injury. What? Well, she kind of would get stiff and then fall over sometimes, but not anything. Almost like just a pinched nerve. But nothing we thought was life-threatening. Um, she walked just fine. You'd get her up and around. And, you know, and she hadn't even done that in what? months so we we don't know um she had an issue i don't know um do not do that around my hair thank you stop now you're just being a dork an unsafe dork um I should quit. Thank you, no you're not in the barn stalls what else is going on the We've little some decent weather we have whiskey got chiropractor work on there yes and what was wrong with whiskey what happened that tell the story she was in the trailer. I I don't know. Yeah, yeah, we talked about mom hitting the deer and me borrowing the truck and almost getting in the wreck. And Whiskey got a chiropractor to work on because she got thrown around in the trailer and she got something messed up. It's one of the problems with having wooden floors in your trailers and having shoes on your horse. There was two horses in that trailer. One had shoes. One did not. One for the money. Two for the show. What happened to the one that didn't have shoes on? He was fine. He was fine. He had traction. That's fine. Um, but the one that had shoes on, what happened? It, it uh, messed up in her head. It messed. She slid and at some hit point yeah. either hit with it turned funny or what. We're not sure. But he, he said it's not her shoulder. Her shoulder is perfectly fine. It's the muscle. So she got a massage from the chiropractor and a couple of pop pop. Pop, All snap. straightened no, out. It's snap, crack, pop, pop. pop. Rest, crispy. <laughs> so, um, but it's in her right shoulder, right? Mm -hmm. And her scissors, neck. Guys, I'm a big kid now. <gasps> um, mm -hmm. You can tell he's had sugar. He's <laughs> not right my tears. That's boogers. Quit. Go ahead. Okay, so, hey, what else is going on in the barn stalls? 
I got away my deer. What else is going on in the barn stalls? Mm -hmm. What are you doing with the dogs? <sighs> well, right now, when I'm staring at the ceiling, like it's gonna move. He's I'm not hot. Sure, sure what it's because they're kennel. He's kennel. Yeah, no, he's, he's staring. At the, he thinks the ceiling's Wilbur? gonna move. Wilbur. No, you need to let him out and let him get a drink. That's Carl. That Carl. Well, go, no, that's Wilbur. I'll bring him on the show. No. They can come on the show. They think they're lap dogs, but he does yes, need. They need. They get hot, and it's not a hard kennel. It's a come cage. On. Come on, Wilbur. You need to come on the show. Come on. Come on, get up in here. Guys, you gotta be just an inch taller. Thank you. Head up. Alright, this is Carl. Hey, Carl. You're our special guest today, Carl. Now talk. Oh, there's Wilbur. Alright, there's Wilbur. He's just that special <laughs> guest on the show Carl. today. Carl. We have a special guest today, guys. At what Wait, point do they say hi to the audience? Too big for our laps. Carl. Carl, you gotta wait and say hi. You gotta get... <laughs> He's trying Carl. to climb onto my lap. He's on okay. my lap. Honey, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm right here. Right, I will. Over. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. Get down. Go get you a drink. Go get him a drink. I'm pinned down. I can't <laughs> do anything, guys. All right. I got one more. Okay. Get back. Get back. As you can tell, they're pretty big. Um, They're getting huge. Oh, Carl never waved to the audience. Hey, guys. How are you today? Thank you. Oh. Here we go. Okay. And they're over getting drinks now. That's what they need. Uh, they get hot. Um, we don't leave them out at night because they still aren't exactly good with the chickens. They're not model citizens. No, they're not. Wilbur is not a model citizen. Um, we also have Buttercup limping, and I think the dogs chased her, huh? And she kind of twisted her leg or whatever. We're not sure. No. We don't have no evidence. We don't have evidence, but because we the dogs bark at. The they dogs bark, bark at her. And they run around her. And, rah, rah, rah. and she just kind of looks at them like. But why? Don't slobber on me. Who's missing from that pen and why? Charlotte, because she keeps getting out. We found her on the railroad tracks one day. Just standing there, looking around. And how does she get out? She crawls under. Well, we're down. <laughs> Carl, down. <laughs> they don't listen to me, guys. Carl is definitely mama's baby. You are supposed <laughs> to be down. D O W N down. Got it? Down. <laughs> yeah, you. Yes, you. Down. He is standing flat foot. Put it on the floor. floor. Yes, yes. <laughs> and he's got his paws up. Wilbur, down. But, and yes, he's. Okay. Wilbur, they're sorry. big. They're very big. Don't get you. Don't. He, he sometimes paws my face. And I have to work tomorrow. And I don't want. I love you too. You don't want a big whopper. Mm -mm. No, I hate having to explain those at work. What happened to you? <laughs> the monkey got me down. <laughs> he is a sweetie, though. He's my big sweetie. You're supposed to be D O W N down. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, let's just go for this. Okay, so explain. The pig keeps yep. getting out, right? The pig keeps getting out. Okay, the farrier also <coughs> came this week, right? Yep. <laughs> That's <laughs> Moose, who's mad because he's not in his thing. Okay, let's put these the guys back. Light is on put me. Him, just put him outside. Come on. Just put him outside for Come a little on. bit to cool down. Come on, go. Come on, Carl. Carl, go on. Come on. Go outside. Go on. Go on. Carl, no. <laughs> Them out the back door, and there are like seven chickens that um, won't uh, go up on their own. And I quit chasing them a while ago, so um, you have to put them in their pen. So that you can stay at them. I'm ready, ready, ready. Okay, so set your butt down. Thank you. All right. I'm ready. I'm ready. You're messing with the camera. Come on. You're hitting the table. Sit up. I'm not hitting the table. I'm hitting you. Who's hitting the table? So you no, stop I'm not. Hitting You're hitting the leg. 
You mean this one? Yeah. Oh, that. That's what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, okay so. I'm ready. Well, I didn't finish telling what else. Moose, that's enough. Yeah, stick it, little one. Okay, so now we have quiet. Let's finish with. All right, the pig's been escaping. Just a pig got out. You know, okay, they can't hear you. So come on. I know, you guys couldn't hear me. I said the pig keeps getting out. The, yep. We so, fixed one spot. And she made another spot. So now she's in the timeout pen because that is like a fortified pen that nothing can get out of. So, nope. Including uh, the three, We lock our ghosty friends in there all the time. The three little sheep got out and you had to put them back, right? Okay. You've been roping on anybody. Stop. Come on. It's late and I really want to get to bed, guys. Um, And I have to work tomorrow. <laughs> And it's Christmas Eve tomorrow. I gotta get this. It's Christmas Eve Eve now. Okay, but I gotta get this done and up. So let's move on. Anything else in the barn stalls? Nope. No. Nope. Podcast over, folks. This is all you're gonna get this week. See no, you next week. No, it's not. Oh. We have just a few more days till my way go. Oh my gosh. My way go. My way go. My way go. My way go. Way go. Way go. Way go. My way go. Okay, so what comes next? Mending fence it is. What did we break this year, this week, the last two weeks? Oh, where's your truck? I broke it. No, <laughs> you didn't break it. Um, we took it to have a new bed put on it, correct? Mm -hmm. So it will be up and functional, hopefully, right? And can it get it working? <coughs> when he got it working, hey, Moose, that's enough. Um, we took it over and took the bed. We had the bed. And we had the truck. We just needed someone to put it together, so it went. Yeah, we just duct taped that sucker together. <laughs> Driving down the road. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Duct tape your fix um, Oh, my bed fell off. Anything oh. else that um, we've had to fix? We kind of need to fix your hair. Um, you have a couple of feeders you're going to fix tomorrow for me, right? The yeah. Just hay feeders. Yeah, um, just gives a perk. Thank you, son. It needs um, more poof to it. it. needs a little poof. No, it needs me to go to bed. It needs a little poof. Come on. Poof. It needs me to go to bed. Quit making a mess in my hair. Um, in the yarn farm. Well, Mega's coming up. We've got bags sitting here, which will be 75% off. Quit. Stop now. Soaps are ready. Mm -hmm. We'll have a bunch of fleece, correct? I know. You messed up my hair. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Um. We'll have yarn, bats, Fleece, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else? Yarn in the bats. I've got. The, I've still got to straighten up stuff, but I've got soaps mm -hmm. and oh, I'm taking soaps and lip balm. I'm teaching two classes. One of which will be processing wool with just your fingers, right? It's just a demonstration type, and then um, it's for those who always tell me that they're scared to wash them because they'll fall. Um, and then I'm doing Tunisian in the round. So <coughs> if you do go to Wamego, Tunisian in the round is limited to 20 students. And I do have the double-ended hooks. I got them in. And yes, I just used the little ones. I will be showing two different um, types of doing so that if you have the cabled hooks, you can do it with that too. So I'll have these for sale. I've got I think four sets. That one's my set. And I've got another, the other hook is right here. Um, and then I've got four sets that I got that I can break up and sell however anybody needs it. My must set. Um, so anyway, I'll have those. Um, anything else? Mm -hmm. What? I'm thinking I might work on some more bats, but I don't know. All right. In the fields, I went out and got... I thought I made a little clip, but I had all the dogs with me. I had moose. I had the sheep out there. I think I had almost every animal from our farm out there in that garden with me because it, it was closed down. A lot of things are dead, but it has grass in the walkways. So I didn't want to mow. So I took the sheep and everything else out there with me. But I have gourds. I'll have to look. If I have that clip, it will appear right here like magic. Okay, so Trouble and I are down here in the garden, and 
I've decided I'm going to clear this trellis today. It's a pretty nice day. I'm harvesting the gourds. Some of them may or may not be any good because I may have left them too long. Um, we've had them do this before where they kind of peel. And because they're in layers, if we peel this off and dry them out and put them someplace dry, a lot of times they'll be fine. So, um, yeah, this is the trellis system. I'm going to get it all out. Look at all these here. Of course, we've got some that we lost. Um, not a whole lot you can do about that. But, hey. And then we have some big ones. Some that I didn't even know were here. Um, so this little one here. Um, yeah, we grew a lot of gourds. So um, the ones that were doing the best were the ones that were hanging. That were in an upright position like this. So that's good. Um, we'll get some. This is the only snake gourd that I found. <laughs> And I'm going to keep looking. It looks like the um, bottle gourds took over pretty much everything. Next year I'm going to get this. Now that I know that this system works, I'm going to get it under control. Uh, but anyway, all right, I'm off of here. I'm going to get this cleared. And hopefully the asparagus is over there someplace too. So, hey, who knows? And then we have kitties everywhere. Kitties, kitties, kitties. Hey, tiger little. Tiger lily. We don't even know which cat that is. It's one of the army of eight. So, anyway, all right, I'm gonna get off here and get to work. Hopefully, have some gourd stars. And we're back. No, we were never gone. We just split it, huh? <laughs> if there was a clip in there, there's a clip in there. If there's not, sorry. Part two. <laughs> he just wants to say part two. Who's <laughs> ready for round two? Um. I am. I'm super ready. Okay, so I'm ready, 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 ready. Anything else? Anything else in the field? Yes, there is. What? Hey, hey, we are. Let's go. Oh gosh, yes, it is. Okay, so explain that. Um, we have six or eight, eight. round bales coming. I thought you said eight. I don't know. It might be six. Six. You eight. need to tell Jace because he's gonna look for eight. Oh. We're having them delivered. Yeah, we're having them delivered. Mm -hmm. We got a really good deal on them, and. Yep. They will be coming. We've got a gentleman who's going to bring them on a big hay hauler. So if RJ is really up on his stuff, they won't be coming until after Christmas. So you'll be out there and um, do, uh, what do you call it, video to hey, show, hey, them how, yeah. show them how it, how oh, it works. Ready. Okay. Um, got my telephone. All you gotta do is poke this button here. This button here. Okay, will we be able to unload them? Or does his thing flip them up? I think it's flipped them. Oh. I have no idea where we're gonna put them. See look, you're video. See look. You're video and a video. I get it. Um, so maybe we'll have that. But it's round bales and the price was right and it'll get us through a little bit of extra winter, correct? Yep. So um, okay. What else? Video and a video. I get it. Uh, so maybe. Now your video and a video. No, you're playing a video in a video. Yeah. Okay. And he's got it on loop. Okay, stop it. I get it. So, what comes after in the field? Hello. We did have on one. The porch. No, we had one little visitor out here today, didn't we? Yes. He yes. had a blast, didn't he? Mm -hmm. He was like thanking us galore. He, he tell who he was. He was a chiropractor's son. Yes, and we will be. I thought of it today, but I didn't get it done. I need to make uh, arrangements with TC next time he's up here to do to add to the series about the men in my life because our chiropractor happens to be a man as well, and we will let him explain what chiropractic care does for our horses. Um, we have the one where we have taught. Uh, who else in that series? The horse trainer, the farrier, the vet, and now we've added chiropractic care to our horses. So we will discuss um, all the men That's in my life. And, on me. So and me um, I do have to get his permission and, and we'll do a short little interview with him and do a write up on him and let you know where he's out of, what he does, and um, why he does what he does. So, anything else? I just got to show you this, okay? I've been playing. Like, 
I'm just sitting here and just doing this. And I literally took this little piece that I found on the ground, on the floor here. We've been tumbling fleeces and getting them ready to go. And um, I love processing wool with my fingers. And so I took it and I ran it under hot water last night, didn't I? Just hot water, no soap. It hadn't even been cleaned with soap. Ah, look at that. Um, and I just sat here and pulled it out and processed it. And it's ready to spin. Look at that. Would y'all look at that? Would y'all look at that? Would y'all look at that? There so you know, you should look that up on you. Yeah, I, I don't like that little guy. But anyway. Um, but I love processing fleece with our fingers. And I know it sounds silly, but it's the best way. <laughs> and you don't have to have any expensive equipment. And look at that. Ready to spin. Lovely pin roving. Do, 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 do. Too bad you can't spin that. Yes, I could. You would draft it down even smaller. Yes, I would. But you could spin it that width. So anyway, um, on the porch, quit, quit. Don't blow it away. I like it. There's one little off. I just, I'm playing with it. Okay. Um, and I will have a class on how to do that and how to spin and how to wash and pretty much just how to do it without having to go in debt. Um. Processing wool isn't isn't an expensive thing unless you make it expensive and want all the expensive toys. But um, we're here to try and, and teach people that you can do it without all the expense. All right. Anything else? On on the porch. You, no, not on the porch. In the farmhouse. You wrote. How'd you do? Oh, not very good. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Where'd that mustache one go? Do you put it back in here? No, I don't Well, it's not in here, so where is it? It is. No, it's not. That's not a complete set. You're a dork. Where is it? <laughs> oh, you put it in the yarn. I did not. Uh, no, that one no he didn't put it in the yarn. But I actually you. didn't, but I wish I did. That would been awesome. I didn't do that, but I wish I did. Anyway, so, how'd you do roping? Uh, I did pretty good. I don't know. Didn't win anything this weekend. Didn't win anything, but... Went out, what, in the third round or so? Yeah. Been helping your uncle? Yep, been working. When he, um, his horses came down to the chiropractor, too, correct? Yep. Okay. Um, anything else? Not really. It's winter, so um, other than processing fleece and getting that ready for what may go. We spent all that time going. He does, I do Miss, I couldn't get my hands on my feet. Oh, you didn't tell them what you set me up on and what we're working on. All right, it's the end of the year. So we are revamping the website. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, and what did mom join the world of? Facebook. Yes, but there's a reason why. Um, life changes are happening, and we need to make sure that we don't lock ourselves out of Facebook, right? And I had it as page manager on my phone, which was a totally different program. But our page has to be linked to an individual. And we have it linked to you. Yep. And if something happened, we wouldn't have been able to get into it. So we felt it was time to put two people on there. So I joined the world of Facebook. RJ is not amused that I don't get it a lot. <laughs> the page manager was so much easier. Um, but... Now I'm me and not you, right? Right. So when we're posting, I know you guys can tell the difference, but it was all coming from the same Facebook account. Now it's actually one me posting me and him posting him. And My stuff generally comes across as the straw family farm. Mom sometimes comes across as Yes, Christmas because stuff. I haven't figured out how to be one or the other. It's just all jumbled in there now. So um, the page manager, because it was hooked to just the Straw Family Farm, I never had that trouble. So sometimes you'll see me on there. Sometimes I won't. Just know that Christy Straw really doesn't post. I've practiced posting a couple of little things. I've shared a couple of little things. But, yeah, don't look for it to be real active. Um, it's pretty much there just to have link to... Um, the web page and the um, face straw family farm Facebook page, correct? Mm -hmm. So don't look for it to be real active. 
<laughs> um, anything else? We will on the uh, the week after Christmas. We will get the um, website revamped. It'll have a new look, maybe a little refreshed, right? Okay. What if this spoke? I know I threw him in my purse. Um, but pretty much there's life changes happening. What are some of the life changes you're looking at for the new year? Put, please quit fussing and tell them. I'm in my mouth full. <laughs> your mouth full, all right. What are chocolate? some of the life? Some are, what are some of the life changes? Um, we're looking at downsizing the flock. Correct. Um, we are. Here's the thing: is our rescue work has come to a standstill, and we can't cycle things in and out because we're full, pretty much. Correct. Mm -hmm. So, while we want our flocks to go to good um, fiber homes, we also need to be able to take in things. And right now, we just can't. The land that we have can't support it. We can't do it. It just, we're full. So, it's time for some to move on. Um, RJ, what are you looking to... I'm going to keep some of my cuties, but I'm going to half my cutie flock. Okay. We are obligated to some that will be here forever, which is not a bad thing, is it? No. Nope. I really like them. <laughs> um, but we have, there will always be a Moreno flock here. Well, yep. I say always until they pass. Yep. We don't know if we will be replacing them or not. Um, we have Fudgy and Patch who will remain here forever and they're meat sheep. Um, correct. Yep. And then, um, what about your Dorsets? What are you thinking on them? Uh, I have three Dorsets and eight Shetlands, so they could go to new homes. Okay. Because you're so. really not doing much with the Shetlands anymore, are you? No. Nope. So. And it, this is going to sound really bad, but the miniature sheep, are they... They're, if they are breech, what's the problem with your hands now? They're too big. I have problems delivering them. Bait, delivering them, turning them. Um, it's not that we won't do the miniatures. It's the fact that when he started miniatures, he was little. Yep. He reached right up in there and could turn them and no problem. Now, even my hands are almost too big, correct? Mm -hmm. Mine are even bigger than yours. And his are even bigger than mine. So... Um, we do assist with a lot of births and we want to be able to do whatever it takes. And if our hands are too big, it's time to move on. Now, if it was a rescue, it'd be a different deal. Correct. Yep. I think big is the only one that throws us a curve every year. Correct. Yep. She does the breach thing. And then who else did the that breach? That one year you thought you killed her. I know. I did. It was horrible. It was funny. <laughs> it was funny after it was all over, but it was horrible. I panicked. Well, oh, my uh, God. They uh, had a baby. or Well, she had one hung up in her. And, Mom, I was gone. So I And told Fig her. is not like. She's, um, not very, she's friendly. She's friendly, but she's not. Overly friendly, and she's not in your hip pocket. I mean, she, she just kind of well, okay, you have food. Oh, I'll come eat. Yeah, you want to do this? Okay, but she had been out there in the little thing, and is she what we call the Shetland corner? There's a favorite corner that they all send, tend to go to that I don't know if it's the proper windbreak or what. She was out there, and I had been watching her back and forth, back and forth. I had a stall set up in the barn ready for her. Towels, and heat I just ramp. told mom just wait until she has them and then take them on. Yep. So I went out there and she's laying on her side, literally just, Bleh! and then she stops. And then and she, she goes, Bleh! and then she does it. I've seen her do it like, a hundred times. She sticks her feet out like stiff. I mean, like, does. like these feet, like these feet are just sticking up in the air. They're just stiff. Oh my just, God. Like the one leg's laying on the ground, and so like just up in the air, freestanding. Just part of it's because she's a little fat, but it's possible. But and she just ah! and she and, and she goes stiff. And, and I can see a nose and just one hoof. Well, this is an issue, correct? Yeah, you're supposed to see two hoofs. You're supposed to see two. So I get RJ on the phone, and sorry. That was me. One of the things that I had always worried about was. When RJ was gone, could one of us handle? 
emergencies because the flock was so and we'd always done it together like i held their heads he did the thing and gone on, and we've done that way since he was little but this time she just oh my god i thought she died because she went stiff she let out this blah, went stiff and there was just one nose and one hoof and i pushed it up in there and i tried to get the other leg and i couldn't get it but i could push it all the way back so i actually delivered one of the legs back. with one leg forward and one leg back which is okay <laughs> um it's not ideal and it's not easy because it makes their shoulders wider to come through it's yeah. not the perfect little slide right out so i got it in position got it pulled out and the whole time this sheep is just laying there i thought she was dead i was bawling i was like oh my god i killed her i gotta save this one so i got this little one i actually had to take off my shirt because i had nothing clean to wipe her mouth with um because i had put my hands up in there i couldn't get stuff off of her my hands are now covered with stuff um i ended up i took my shirt and started trying to wipe her face and then i had nothing to get her to the barn so i ended up taking off my shirt i had nothing on underneath it <laughs> it was cold and uh stop Oh, I was doing my nails. I don't care. I was doing my nails. And uh, anyway, so here I am shirtless in another thing, and I have to go, how far is that from one to the other? Oh, like 100 yards. I have to go 100 yards with this little lamb, and I think shirtless. So no, I, that's not I've wrapped. Yards. It's about 50 yards. Okay, I don't know. I have to get from one barn to the other because I had the heat lamp. I thought the mom was dead. Well, as it turns out, the mom wasn't dead. No, nah, she just does The baby that. laid down. I, I laid her down to go see if I could find another towel. Because I'm shirtless, okay? And I'm not a small person. And I didn't even have on a brassiere, nothing, okay? I'm streaking. And I tried to find another towel. I tried to clean off its face. And I had to, you know, I didn't have a shirt that was big enough to go. Like, I tried to use the underside of it. It just was horrible. And I'm crying the whole time because I've got this little baby I've delivered, which is a miracle of birth. And then this one that I thought was dead. And I'm just a mess. RJ's on the phone going, Mom, you just have to get yourself under control. And I'm like, yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> so I go to find a towel. Well, I laid the little baby down. Next oh, time. I know what it was. I was going to milk out some colostrum. And so I tried to get the baby to nurse. She wouldn't nurse. And I thought, I'm going to milk some out to get down her and when i went to the thing fig lets out this and jumps up scares me to death so i decided okay i'm gonna get them both to the barn before she goes down again because this is not funny and this is before we realize she does this as as a stunt she just does it i go buck naked waist up Got my lamb wrapped in my sweatshirt and I'm bookity bookity across there. And you have to hold them down low. So correct? the sheep could see. So the sheep, so that Fig could see in their miniatures. So here I go across the thing. I get them in the stall. And I'm telling you, tears are streaming down my face. It's, I'm laughing at this point because I thought, oh, she's not dead. And she's, but I'm bawling because I did the lamb all by myself and I'm so proud. And I could turn it and I got it out and I saved it. And, get inside and she goes bah, and falls over again i was like no she popped out a twin <laughs> no, i was like oh my god yeah she the second one came like right after i got her in the barn i guess she'd been in labor for a little bit and the one had hung up so once we got the one out i say we i got the one out and she gave birth to the other so yeah it's it, if you don't have small hands it can be um, I just couldn't ever get my hand like in there and pull it. And we've actually had um, walls torn, correct? Yep. We lost one because of it. So um, it's just, we love it. We might keep one around or two around, but um, we lost our big ram this year too. Yep. And we ended up running a gauntlet on them. So, you know, think, life is just changing. Um, we're not getting out of the business, but we're definitely going to downsize. And so, any of our followers that would like a piece yes. of the a piece of the farm, let us yep. know. We'll have a couple of cuties for sale, which um, we have yet. To, we don't know how many or I haven't decided anything. So. I have. I still have Sally, the original cutie. 
I haven't sold any female cuties, have I? Nope. So, if anybody's wanting to take that fiber line, I actually have three girls out here, yep. and I have four or five out on the pasture. Yep. So, I will be Dorsets looking to. And we have, I have three Dorsets. And I don't know shuttles. which. Yeah, he's got Dorsets and Shetlands, and I will be downsizing the cuties. The Merinos are here to stay. Yep. And the Angora goats. Um, we're just down to what two? Yep. Three. Three, 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 three. Where's Camilla? Right? Camilla? Waldo? Sienna. Yep. So, and they're old. So they will be here until they're gone. Waldo's like old. Yes. Um, his horns have started to flake and crack. Yeah. Um. What? What else are we doing? I'm trying to think. Oh, my milk goats is what I was going to talk about. I am going to keep those. I've got a new up and coming. And then. The pain in the keister. Once I get like her. A deer. She can. Um, once I get her broke to milk, um, I should have Holly for sale. Huh? That's up to you. Right? I told all of you. I'm not milking three. Are you going to help me milk? No. No. <laughs> so. I don't even yeah. like goat milk. No, nope, you're lucky to hit me to milk one. Yep. So, um, Holly will be. Well, I don't know if Holly will be. We'd have to find the right owner for Holly because of her horn. Yeah. But Alpine's not going anywhere, sweetie. I love sweetie. She's a pain in the butt, but I love her. She's got sweeter milk. So, and we'll have to see what their milk tastes like. Their milk tastes Matt. like. So. Well, what milk is milk? Is milk. No, it's not. And the goat's milk, I don't like. So he doesn't like it. He doesn't drink it. But um, Holly's is not as sweet as um, Sweetie's. Hence Sweetie's name. Anyway, so we will be downsizing a few things. The other reason that I am keeping Layton is what? We have a snowball goat. Yes. What is with Layton? What kind of goat is she? She's half angry. Yes. And she has no lanolin, no anything. It's like super fine. And, and goats she, don't have lanolin. Oh, that's true too. Um, <laughs> just just her dummies here. She she's <laughs> half La Macha, half Angora. She should have known that, but some of you yeah. guys may have been. But yelling. the fleece, what I'm getting at is the fleece doesn't grow on her head and her legs. How easy is she to shear? It's just like shearing a cloud. You just go. Yeah. It's the blanket and and it's. And the angora part grows out real long, and it's white, and the undercoat is dark, so it's super easy. I love la, 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 la. So anyway, she'll be sticking around. I'll get back down to just two milk boats, and anything else? Yeah, there was this one thing. And then you're going to start cycling through some of our bigger cattle, aren't we? The rope and steers. So it's not just one breed or one animal that we're going to downsize it is all correct yep. and as we do that we can take in more rescues so yep right now we are full up to here full too we are mm -hmm. full and we have been that way for oh, what a couple of years almost a year and a half so if we want to go back to doing rescue work which is what we really kind of like to do um take on a cases that need us um we have to free up some space we can't we cannot keep them all forever so, and yeah, rj's done at 4 h to... done with 4 h so the shetlands are pretty much ready to go yeah but we're not just going to send them to the cell barn we no find them some they're not things. going to sell barn or anything like that they're going to homes so if you're interested give us a holler I'm sure you can find us. If you found this video, you can find us online. Just Google the Straw Family Farm. There's a phone number. Give it a call. There's multiple phone numbers. <laughs> there is. Okay. Or you can Facebook me now. I'm on Facebook. <laughs> or you can Facebook RJ or the Straw Family Farm. Yep. Email us, us, RJ at farmonthewebcom or farmontheprairie at gmail.com. Right? Just let us know. Give us a holler. Um, Smoke signals, anything. Pretty much. All right, are we off of here so that we can get this? It's kind of gotten long, but Let's everybody's think. now up to date on what we're doing, right? Well, there was this one thing. What? Oh, you know that thing. What? 
that thingy we were supposed to talk about. Merry Christmas. Happy, Happy New Year. No, we'll say Happy New Year next week because we got to we'll uh -uh. be on next week. Yes. Next week. Is, Do you realize oh, this is yeah, the next first is time? The 28th. 29th. 28th and 29th. So. And 30th. Friday is the 28th. Yes, I just went through this with Beth. 30th, 30th yeah. yeah. <laughs> she doesn't even know what, her, what day her plane is coming in. She told me Sunday the 29th. The 29th this Saturday. Saturday. Yes. So, we will have one more podcast. And we apologize about last week, but it was the only time that we've missed in how many years, son? I don't know. Just, I was busy. And it just, busy. life got in the way. And so, um, yeah. Anyway. All right, I just moved it. Life changes. Yep, and we're life. all growing up, except for him. Never gonna grow up. Never gonna go up. Just call him Peter Pan. Anyway, welcome to, to Never Neverland. From the Straw Family Farm um, to you, yeah. have a Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas and a Happy New Year. That's next week. Well, I'll tell Bye. you twice.